Hi everybody, it's Tina from Tina's Crafty Life. How are you? I hope you're good. I am here with Galantine Girls Just Wanna Have Fun Club, hosted by Pink Zebra, Unicorn Crafter, and Nikki Nikki's Hall and Crafts. And today's project I'm going to share and make are these cute little hearts. And I picked these up. I got, they're at a church sale. Fill a bag for like a little or nothing. And I just, when I go to those little bag sales, I shove stuff in because I always figure out I can use it down the road. And these were part of it. So we're going to undo the back. If I can get the tape off. Oh my lord. I'm sorry about my ugly nails if you're seeing them. I don't paint my nails because guess what, guys? I paint too, too much with ink, uh, inks, paint, you know it. So I don't even bother. So these are just little, I think they look like, they're not chipboard. Oh, maybe they are. They could be some sort of chipboard. So what I do is I try to get the knot out. If I can't, I'm not even bothering. I'm just going to snip it. I'll take the string off. I don't lose the string because I'm going to use it. And I'm just going to get the piece of paper. And I'm just going to turn it. Grab some glue. If I can get my glue to work, okay. And I don't care if the writing's slanted, different directions. I don't bother me. I think it's a cool look anyways. Okay, I'm going to get a different glue off the soak this bottle. The tip's clog. Dang it, look at me. I like these bottles, but I don't like these bottles. Okay, and I'm just putting glue on it. And I'm putting it down on the paper. And I'm going to do the second one right away, too. Might have to slant the second one a little bit to get it all in. There we go. I'm gonna let that settle for a little bit so they are here. But what I'm going to do, scissors, is I'm just gonna cut between them. There we go. And this is a paper pack I bought at a sale, and it's really cool. Um, I paid $2 for it. It is made by Recollection, and look at it. It's so cool. It's got that vintage vibe look going on. Oh. I don't know if they make it anymore. Look at this. I played two bucks for that at a sale in that long week. Well, this is past summer. That was cool. Let's see? Da -da. And of course, I stick the little piece back in. I usually try to save most of my scraps if I have something like that. All right. So I think these are good. And all I am is going to take my small scissors and I'm just going to cut around the edge. And I'm going to show you a trick I also do. I'll cut up 
as far as I can around a, and I usually I go like this too less off the easier it is cut to I'll snip that one like that but I'll bring in like this I'll go and this one I'll go straight down as well as this way and you'll see what happens like this I'll go right here and fall off as you go and it just me and it works nice now as you all know you get to a point where you know your hand doesn't work because you're not that hard. I go to the front and I'll do the front it comes out nice here's another one just gonna go real quick around it I don't get too close to the edge just in case Same thing. Oh, there's another way I'll bring it in. And uh start. and I'll go in. And look at him right off. I'm gonna skip this corner because I gotta turn face that the other direction. Now I'll turn this one over. And I'll just find your edge and snip. There we go. So while you get a spot where you have to go back, it's good. So got the heart writing on it. Next, I'm going to get my vintage photo. And I'm going to go around the heart. And I have the hole and take my crock and line up the hole and bring it back through.
they go. So that's what they look like so far. Now the next step is, is this eyelash trim, they call it. And I just flip. And I don't start on like a curve, like, you know, the big curve. I start about here. Just lay a little glue down. Got my finger chippy thing on. This I don't, I'm not too perfect about. And I'll, I'll press as I go. And then grab the heat gun. Ooh, get back there. Grab some more heat gun. Or heat gun. Grab my heat gun and glue. <laughs> Ooh, I'll just do one and I can finish this one off camera. You guys don't need to see me do two. These are done the same way. I try to get the little, the only thing I kind of try to do is get the ruffle out or whatever you want to call it off the edge so it doesn't get glued. A little bit more. Right like that. And then come in, try to get the quiet so it doesn't get all batted up. Sometimes you can get it out after with your finger. These are a good investment, these little finger chippy things, I tell you. Uh, Dab it, dab it, dab it. And bring it back up. Like that. Like so. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to snip. Put it off to the side. Add this little bunch down. Grab the gold. The gold is harder. I swear. So, I gotta find the end here. Where is the end? I need to redo these all. Wait, I got a knot. Oh, oh, I still got the knot. So, I'm just gonna trim that. Okay. Same thing. This one is, you know, how it's harder. I just try to get it laid down. I don't really worry as much. I just try to get it as on there. Because, I mean, I'll go like this if you see me. I'll bring them out. And hopefully they don't get cut up in hot glue. We're bringing the other ones in, the hot glue either. So, just get it pressed in.
snip. And get the last little bit of it. And try to match as you possibly can get it going out. That's the look you're going for is to have it kind of flare out as best as possible. Looks pretty good to me. And there we go. That's what it looks like when it's done. Looks pretty good. All right. Next step. Oh, take your fingertip off because I tell you, they do make you want to lose your circulation a little bit. All right. As just to have a little chunk of lace. I have this sitting. I kind of prepared for this one, so I had everything together. And I just snip a little bit. And I just trim this part off. A lot of mine have that, so I just trim it off. And I'm going to, sometimes I look and I mean, eh, a little too big. I don't need it that big, so I'll come in and trim a little bit more off. There we go. Looks good. And I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue. And I did it again. Oh. Won't take long to reheat. And there it is. Now I use a little flatty thing. Put it down. And now we're going to take a little snippet off this. And I'm going to snip. And then I make this one look like a leaf as well. So there we go. I'll take this. We're going to lay it right there. And then I need three flowers. And I'm just going to put a little glue on the edge, flatten it down. And I'm going to take the bigger flower. And I do remove this little bead because I want them to, it, the next one to lay flat. And I'm just going to add dab a dab a glue. And I'm just going to put it in there. I'm going to do the same thing with the next one. We're going to use pink. And we're just going to, I'm going to go the opposite direction. See how that one is? I'm going to put the leaves that direction. A little glue. that. This center is going to be green. Same thing. I'm just going to do it the opposite direction. I have these little keys and I'm going to lift up a little bit and I'm just going to have a key stuck in there. And sometimes you might peel back just a little bit. And I usually what I do is I just kind of come in and lay the glue where I want the key. And I want so you could see the key top a little bit. That looks pretty good. I know it's not flat. There we go. Let it do its job. Pull up the other flowers, slant it a little bit. That looks pretty good. Then, um, it's the most easy part of the whole thing. Grabbing some little pearls. And some little itty bitty teeny weeny ones, which I snagged off of this. Right here. And I kind of, I like that they're flat on the back. 
I didn't have any real tiny ones that are flat. So we're just going to snag a few out of this. And use them. So we put that one on the top of the key. I'm just going to right there. And cut two more. And I'm just going to add a dab of glue there, there, and let's see, you want to go up or down? We'll put it right here. Let's grab one more pearl for this one. Another one up here. There we go. Like so now we got the little black or flat back, little bigger ones. One right there and there. There. Put them together. Take my little hot. Done here. Sorry, I'm just gonna keep the boogers off. If I call them hot gun, I call them hot gun boogers. Boogers. Get my piece of string back. Bring it through the hole. If I'm lucky I can do it on the first try. Woohoo! I did. I did. I did. And and then I'm just going to I will not. Oh. Fat fingers, guys. I'm sorry. And I'm just going to bring it up as close as I possibly can without losing it. Like I almost, like I just did. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me. Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> There we go. So that is my project for this week. And I'll finish this one sitting here. I think they're cute. You can even write a little message on the back later on. If you want. You could cover like like maybe put another one on top of each other and have it decorated on two sides. So it'd be like this actually. So if they spin, if you're hanging them, they always spin around and look the same. Or you can just take a plain piece of this paper and put it around it so it covers that all up. It's totally up to you, which is probably what I would do because I really like when my they have finished back where you don't see all this. I do like kind of like putting them together though. Isn't that pretty? I think that would look awesome. Do you wanna, what do you guys think? Putting them together? I like them like this. I think I will be putting them together so they look like that and the flower would be on the opposite of side of each other too so I think that's what I'm gonna do let's do 
We're going to just snip one string off because I don't need both now. I'm going to see it. I'm going to. Actually, I got ahead of myself, guys. I am going to cut both strings off. Because the key to this is going to be lining up the holes. So if you do. Oh boy, lining up the hole. Oh, I did a good job. I lined that up. Cool. Beans, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you might need a bigger string, but I have an idea for you on that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I am actually going to use some of this to hang it. Now, I need my little hobby tool thing. I always go like this in the center. And I'm just going to put it here. I got this little pokey tool thing, whatever they call them. And I'm just going to press that through and hopefully once in a while I get really lucky it may take a few times because this is bi to get through bye Sam sorry my son lost leaving to get through with a needle so sometimes oh see voila and then part it Make sure you don't pull it all the way through so you don't lose it. And pull both through. And get it through. And I'm just going to tie a knot. And pin it as best as possible. Voila. I like how I put them together. I like how it looks. And then when you sit and if you hang it somewhere, you can have it show both sides. Or like I said, you can cover it with just a piece of paper and write a message. So those are my projects. And I hope you liked it. I hope you can go check out the other ladies' channels. I will be posting their links once they upload their videos because it's much easier than going through and finding their name and not in their video. So I will be linking their video to this video once it is loaded. They're, they have theirs loaded. So thank you, everybody, for watching. And as always, be happy. Be kind, be safe, be funny, be crafty, and bye for now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good evening.